Treat your booty skin like you treat your face skin, okay? Don't be shy. Get in there and do what you gotta do, sis. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video talking all about my booty. I feel like not a lot of people talk about this. I think there is something to be said about the booty skin, okay? And if you have a perfect booty, this video is not for you, so don't even try it. But this is for my girls who have booty meat that is not necessarily as smooth as they would want it to be. It's not as even toned as they would want it to be. There's just a standard for booty skin that I feel like we all have in our brain that is not actually what we get. And we want our booty skin to be nice if you're gonna have a hot girl summer, whatever that means to you. I think a lot of times we skim over that part of our body. We don't really maintenance her and take care of her properly like we do the rest of our body. You know, we're worried about our face skin. We're worried about our um, vaginal region. We're worried about all of that, but we're not really concerned with our booty and we just expect it to be nice, but don't do anything to take care of it. So this video is for the girls who wanna wear a swimsuit, who wanna be cute for they man. You know what I'm saying? You want your booty skin to be right not everybody has a perfect booty and if you do want one this is how you get it as you guys may or may not know I am an advocate for talking about feminine hygiene and feminine health I feel like it wasn't really like a topic that was talked about growing up and people didn't really give you enough insight I felt really weird growing up especially about my booty because as a as a teenager you would see these women in these music videos and in magazines and in TV shows and all of that they have on bikinis and they have their booty out their booty skin it looks fairly nice it doesn't have all of these discolorations and acne and dark spots and None of that, you don't see that. So naturally, you expect for your booty to look like that too. Well, let me just tell you, when I was a teenager, my booty didn't look like that. I, I had hair on my butt. Now, it wasn't like ridiculously large amounts of hair. Looking back, it was not that bad. I probably should have left it alone. But of course, because I was an idiot kid, I shaved it. And you know, of course, when you shave your hair, guess what happens? It grows back thicker. I didn't I didn't maintenance my skin properly, so I wasn't exfoliating. I wasn't using the right products. I wasn't using the right type of body wash. I was just using whatever was in my shower and putting on whatever type of lotion. And so of course, I have sensitive skin on my body, so I wasn't really taking care of my body properly and ended up getting booty pimples and all types of just discolorations and things that I was really, really ashamed of. Like I always would say to myself, like nobody's ever gonna wanna be with me because of this. My husband's gonna think I'm weird if I ever get married because my husband probably won't even want me after he sees how ugly my booty is. You know, prior to getting married, I said, okay, I'm gonna figure out a way to fix these mistakes that I've made. Um, so once I did start getting waxed, I got Brazilians. When you get a Brazilian, they do the whole front and then they do the butt strip. They don't do the cheeks, the larger surface area of the booty. They just do the strip down the back, you know? They get the crack and everything. But I was like, okay, this is weird because I have a smooth crack, but the rest of my booty is not that smooth. So I started getting my booty waxed. Everybody has hair on their butt. Some people have really, really light hair. You can't even really see it. So they probably don't even notice they have hair on their butt, but everybody does have hair on their butt. Okay, that's like a normal thing. Some people's hair on their booty is a little more thick, a little more dark, a little more coarse, a little more there. So uh, for those of you who do notice the hair and don't like it, waxing would probably be your best bet unless you want to go ahead and get that sucker lasered which I am considering it did change the game for me a lot it changed the game okay my butt was looking a lot better the skin was smoother um, dark marks were going away I would just get breakouts um, and so I decided to look it up and I did my research and what I found is you can have folliculitis it looks like acne but it's not actually acne it's it's bumps from being irritated so your skin is irritated which creates pimples and things of that nature if you guys have any more insight on this if you are a skinologist feel free to chime in but just a mild irritation it's not anything super serious where you need to go to the doctor it's just a normal reaction to getting hair ripped out of your booty I decided to start doing booty facials on myself now this is so weird because I didn't think booty facials was a thing but then after looking up folliculitis and looking up booty acne and looking up what it was I found all these articles about booty facials and I've never actually gotten one professionally done but when I started doing them on my own, I noticed a huge difference in how my skin reacted to getting waxed and things like that. And over time, I found that they are very, very helpful. So one thing I would say is that if you do have issues with your booty skin, just know that your skin on your butt needs just as much love as the skin on your face. 
Treat your booty skin like you treat your face skin, okay? Don't be shy. Get in there and do what you gotta do, sis. This is an everyday thing for me now, but if you're working your way up, you can do it once a week, you know, just try to maintenance that area. So one thing I will say is make sure you're using a good body wash, one that is not irritating your skin, okay? I personally like to use veg vegetarian and vegan body washes only. And if you have active breakouts on your butt or any other part of your body, you don't want to exfoliate too harshly. So you want to use something that chemically exfoliates, which we'll talk about in a second as well. But it's pretty much the same process as your face. If you've ever seen any of my skincare videos, you know this is how I take care of my face. I do not do harsh abrasive scrubs. I don't do face washes with a ton of chemicals and all that in it. I do very, very simple, very, very gentle things to make sure that my skin looks nice and it's smooth and then I use products that will help with resurfacing so firstly I do use lush body washes this one is the one I'm currently using this is my favorite right now this is rose jam decadent rose vanilla nourishing argan oil <laughs> I try to use body washes that are moisturizing that don't strip your skin so that's why I said nothing harsh even some of the acne body washes that I've tried in the past are too drying and Dry skin is irritated skin, and for me, I cannot have dry skin. Now you guys already know I talked about this in the last video where I talked about exfoliating and things like that, but I do use a scrubby net. This one is from Love Scrub. Support black businesses, guys. She has a great business. You guys should check out her scrubs, nets, things. I call it my scrubby thing, but it is a net. It's an exfoliating net. And I use this in place of a loofah. Loofahs tend to hold more bacteria because of the way that it's balled up. Um, so I like that this is spread out and also because you can, you know, get your back and everything. But uh, I just kind of ball it up, put my body wash on there and I just, you know, wash my body with it. If you just want to get rid of discolorations and things like that, then you can go ahead and scrub away, sis. Uh, but if you do have active pimples and stuff, don't, don't use this because it's going to hurt. Uh, you want to wait till they go back down before you start exfoliating with this. Um, but like I said, exfoliation every day is key for me to keep away the ingrowns, the dark marks, the dead skin, all of that buildup that's going to cause you to have issues with your booty skin. So this scrub I've talked about before, this is the Anise That Booty Though scrub, but it is a really nice scrub. It's, it's very gentle. I've used up so much. Y'all see how much I've used up of this? But it's very, very gentle, so it doesn't necessarily hurt if you do have active breakouts. I still wouldn't recommend using it, but if you did want to exfoliate every day and you needed something that wasn't as abrasive, this is a very, very, very gentle scrub, but it works really well. It feels like sand, almost. You're just like sanding your booty, you know what I mean? Just sanding it. But to help with pimples, you can, you know, get in the shower, open up your pores, wash off your body and everything like that. After you wash your body, go in with a face mask. I have a couple different face masks that I like to use for my booty facials. One would be the Indian Healing Clay. The Indian Healing Clay with apple cider vinegar works wonders. And it's inexpensive and it's something that you could easily do um, at home. Um, you can also use, you know, like any type of the charcoal masks. I like those too. You just find somewhere to kneel for a good for a good 10 15 minutes let that thing dry down you know what i'm saying let it get real hard and uh then you just wash it off and then after you've done your booty mask then you want to go in with any of the products that you would normally use on your face this is also what i do after i get out of the shower every single day i don't do the mask every day the mask helps when you have active breakout and i know some of y'all are going to be like oh, this is too much this is too much work that's too many products that's too much to do i don't feel like doing all that when i get out of the shower if you don't feel like doing all of it and your booty is breaking down and you got ugly booty skin that's on you baby this is what i have to do for my own personal sanity and because i like my booty to look nice you got to put in the work to see the results like i would do my face my face on my my skin on my face my face on my skin wow i go in with a toner close the pores use a little bit of astringent you can use witch hazel or any other astringent toner that you like to use i like to use tea tree oil in particular so any toner with tea tree oil is what i like to use tea tree oil is a natural antiseptic i believe the word is it helps kill bacteria so it's gonna help with that inflammation it's also gonna help with getting rid of some of those pimples just kind of soothing 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 irritated skin overall so I use the tea tree toner which has tea tree grapefruit and juniper lush did send this to me thank you lush so much I would not have tried this if they didn't send this to me but now that I know about it I'm obsessed and I can't stop using it obviously you could just put some water and some tea tree oil in a spray bottle and have, go at it sis you could do whatever you want 
want. This is just an option if you wanted an option. But when I do go out of town, I can't take this with me because this is a big bottle. So I do just take my little tea tree oil um, that I got from the body shop, put a few drops in my hand, and then I'll rub it on the boot. After doing the toner, you want to go in with a uh, chemical exfoliant if you have issues with dark marks and things like that. AHA, BHA, glycolic acid that is going to help with renewing and regenerating the skin. And you want to do this at night so that it soaks in and does the magic. Let it soak in, let it marinate. You want to marinate it overnight like some chicken. One of the ones that I just keep on hand in my bathroom is the Revolution. Did y'all know that Revolution has skincare? Uh, this is the Revolution 5% Lactic Acid and Hyaluronic Acid. It's a mild skin exfoliator and it's vegan and cruelty free. Uh, and it has a little dropper. I just put a few drops in my hand, rub that into my booty. I also have used the Acne.org AHA Cream. I have used Good Jeans on my booty before. Sunday Riley Good Jeans is too expensive to use every day. So I stopped doing that. But if you, if you got the coin, go right ahead. It will probably work a lot faster. And then I go in with my moisturizer which is typically like an oil to seal it in. I like to use oils. I also love shea butter. Shea butter just naturally helps with dark marks. It's also a natural sunscreen. So if you do go outside or anything using these products, you definitely want to make sure that you do put on a sunscreen if you're going to be outside. I do use my favorite body butter, which is the Frosting by Cake. And if you guys know about Cake, I've talked about this before. My friend owns this company. She also makes a body scrub that is super awesome and delicious. So the body frosting works amazing because it is vegan. And if I don't use that, I do really love the Sugar Ultra Nourishing Body Oil by Fresh. This one is not as uh, inexpensive, but it smells divine. I don't really use lotions on my butt anymore. Lotions just don't work for me in general. I just don't like lotion. I'm a body butter and oil gal, all right? Um, but some other oils that are good for your skin, grapeseed oil is really good. Avocado oil is fine. Vitamin E oil is good as well. Grapeseed oil is the closest to your natural sebum that your skin makes. So it is gonna be probably the best for sensitive skin, especially acne prone skin or skin that is prone to folliculitis. Now, I, I do have to do this regularly because I am still prone to breakouts and I found that nothing really stops the breakouts from coming except being extremely consistent with my routine if I'm not consistent with my routine I'm still gonna get breakouts because I do still get waxed and waxing irritates the skin that's just how it is now the only permanent solution that there would be to preventing folliculitis altogether would be to stop waxing and get laser or electrolysis, something that's going to get rid of the hair altogether and just close up those hair follicles. You know, getting rid of the hair just altogether permanently would help prevent any future irritation. So because you guys know I am in the process of getting my face lasered, I mean, it's really, really helping out with this area. So I know it's gonna work well in my body. Um, so I do know in the future, I will be getting my booty lasered just because I know it's gonna really help with this process and it'll also get rid of those remaining dark spots that I still kind of have lingering around. My booty looks a thousand times better than it used to, like a thousand times. It's really, really smooth too. Like even when my hair goes back, Cam is like, did you get waxed? And I'm like, no. And he's like, oh. You still feel soft. I mean, like seriously, it's way better than it used to be. And it's all because I do this routine. I do plan on getting lasered in the future. I'll let you guys know how that goes once I get to that area. We're working our way down, like I said. That is the future of my booty maintenance. But for now, we're doing this routine and it's been working out wonderfully. So you guys wanted to know about my booty maintenance. That is what I do to get the, the booty right and tight. If you guys have any questions, about anything I talked about in this video, be sure to check the description box and make sure to leave a comment and let me know. I will try to answer everything to the best of my ability. Like I said, I'm not a doctor. I am not a gynecologist. I am not a dermatologist or any type of expert in anything. I just go by experience and let you guys know the kind of tricks and tips that I've learned along the way. And this is, this is me. This is me, raw and uncut, Vicky After Dark. So yes, that's all. I will talk to you guys in my next video, whenever that will be. All right, bye. bye.